So how did a soft-spoken Southern belle like Takasha turn into a cutthroat queen pin? Let's just say there was a void in her life that she was trying to fill. My father was on cocaine and crack. He was in and out of jail all my life. I had to grow up pretty fast because my mom was working two jobs. She worked 12 to 16 hours a day and just leave me home alone. So raising myself. I had become drawn to older men. I knew that Rick was a drug dealer but I didn't see any wrong with that because it wasn't hurting me and I didn't have a hand in it. But he had me right down the passenger side. I'm watching him cook it. I'm watching him bag it up. Me and Rick was together all day like Bunny and Clive. So I'm like, shit, you know, I'm trying to get the game myself. I pull out the scale, put it in the middle on the console, and I would grab the packs in my purse, and I would take out the little chunks and bag it up my own coat and start selling it on the side. But I wanted to be a queen pin. And it's like five or six more homeboys over there. And they up here talking about how they couldn't have done it. Like, hey, I put baking soda in his stuff. I put isotol in there. I went back to my house and I called my customers over and they got their product and they gave me my $200 each. And then this step four, count the money. That little first $600 had did something to me. I was ready to do it again. I would call old boy and be like, hey, I need three pair of the small tennis shoes in the kid size. That was three two and a quarter because two and a quarter is small. If I wanted four and a half ounces, I would say, hey, I want three pairs of Air Jordans. Why exactly is a teenager running up in people's houses? Let's unpack that. Ah, my daddy was a hustler. My daddy is like my street side. My mama is my corporate size. My dad was in and out of jail basically all my life. My mom, she worked extra, extra hours in that hair shop because her goal was to do celebrity hair. She taught me how to stand on my own. Like, this how you gonna make money. I didn't want to be like my mom. I wanted to do my own thing. My daughter would act out with me, but she knew how far she can go. But as strict as her mama was, Andrea, she had her own baggage. My mama loved her some dope dealers. <laughs> she loved her hustlers. I went from stealing cars to the next level of, I want to be fly fly at school and wherever I was at. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to try to achieve more money in these streets. That's where my mind went. Once I got the taste of that little money, I wanted more and more. Paid all my bills and took care of my kids like she was their daddy. So, how does a kid from Rockland County, New York, end up being followed by helicopters on the streets of LA? I was 17. I said, adios, I'm out of here. I am going to California. When I got to LA, I was like, I want to go to Hollywood. If you wanted to be an actor, you had to literally be invited into that scene, which was the party world. I'm hanging out with these elite people in Hollywood Hills. The party bowls were the hot ticket in LA. The party bowls were the party bowls that they had on the tables. The party bowls had all type of flavors of uppers, downers, cocaine, like all these drugs were everywhere. I was experimenting with all type of drugs. So Sherm is PCP, it's a liquid. 
you dump a cigarette in it and you smoke it and it gets you high. Hollywood loved Sherm. Made from ether, it was cheap, easy to score, and extremely addictive. A lot of people have these out-of-body experiences. It's like you walk, you're a walking zombie. Damn, people pay for this? Power's like, it's gotta be cooked up. We got a guy to cook it and we just need these materials. So he gave me a list of things that he was looking for. And he's like, I'll pay you top dollar. And I was like, oh, that's all I need to hear because I was trying to get back into the money game. I was making a large amount of money. I mean, when I say a large amount of money, I could have put a lot of that money in my bathtub and sat in it. I knew he was up to no good, but he didn't tell me exactly what he was doing. 